Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass. And this is Steven Biscotti. And today we're checking out Gotham Before the Legend, The Penguin. And not just any penguin, but the Roughed Up Exclusive Edition. That, that makes it just that much better. <laughs> if you don't know what Gotham is, it's a little TV show we'll talk about the origins of the Batman. And one of the more popular characters during season one has been this guy who got no love back in the day. But here he is. Getting tons of love on this show. He's a little more deviant than people expected. And a little more hip. He's definitely the fan favorite on both season one and season two. Played by Robin Lord Taylor. And this is Mr. Cobblepot himself, the Penguin. And uh, they say he's the roughed up version for a bit of a reason. You can see right in the package he has a little blood. His eyes look a little like he's seen better days. He's got extra sets of hands. He's got an umbrella. There's your awesome Gotham logo and that whole San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Isn't a typical blister package. You'll find this in pretty much any kind of toy. We turn the package over. And then on the back, you can see Gotham before the legend, the Penguin. Roughed up exclusive, we might add. And it gives a little bit about Oswald Cobblebot and all the stuff about him. Uh, I love the fact in the show that Penguin doesn't actually have to look like a penguin. He doesn't have to be that little stocky, Danny DeVito-looking kind of cat. He can actually be a regular-sized person, yet feel authentic to the character. And, of course, you can see him in his great version on the back from Series 1, coming out now, which is great. This is 2015 fall from Diamond Select Toys. And, of course, it's a Warner Brothers thing. And there's your San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That's how you know it's legit. It's having that eye pointing at you. It's a pretty exciting figure uh, for a few reasons. It's uh, the fir This was actually the first figure that Diamond Select Co the Toys had unveiled for their upcoming Gotham line, which should be hitting stores right about now. Uh, the Penguin's easily one of the fan favorite characters in both season one and season two, which is ongoing right now. And it also shows you a remarkable amount of detail and articulation. Uh, that they've given the figure, uh, as you can see, the joints, uh, the hands, the torso, the legs, the knees, the feet, the head. Uh, there's pretty much nothing you can't do with the roughed up exclusive edition of the Penguin. One thing we're not showing it here, we're going to show it when we take out the package, it actually comes with a base, which is going to be very cool to build with the other two figures, which actually will be a whole background shot. If you were lucky enough to attend San Diego or New York Comic Con, uh, you would have seen that they had a little diorama set up, and Zach uh, was kind enough to even tell us that for the upcoming line, uh, all the bases will connect to form a bit of a Gotham City diorama scene. Uh, and that's actually something you don't really see too much in toys right now. So the fact that Diamond Select are developing bases to form a much grander diorama, that's pretty cool for collectors. I've seen that as being a DC trait right now. Uh, Marvel gives you builder figures. DC wants to give you bases, which, you know, the toss-up is, I think I want to display my toys on a base. So let's not waste any more time and open this package. So you're looking at the Robin Lord Taylor roughed-up edition of the Penguin figure for Gotham by Diamond Select Toys. At right now, we have him on his base holding the umbrella accessory that they gave him. And we're going to take a little look at the articulation of the figure. As you can see here, uh, the joints right here um, do allow him to move his arm. He can move it up only to a certain degree uh, with the bowl joint that's intact because it is hindered by the hard plastic that they used for the coat. It could go a full 360. Uh, but it can't go directly above his head, and we don't really want to force it uh, because it is a nice figure, and we don't want to rough him up anymore. He has uh, hand movements, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. It moves both ways, and this is removable, so you could fit him with the other hands, the additional accessories that they gave him. Same exact features on there, so we don't necessarily need to go into that. Uh, as you'll notice, he does have movement right within the torso. Uh, he has a little bit of movement that you could give him if you wanted to make him lean a little more forward uh, to menace your other Gotham action figures or any action figures for that matter. But due to the nature of the harder plastic that they've used to form his coat, it limits the movement. 
Uh, but that's alright because you also have movement within his legs and his hips and he also has thigh cuts. The detail, uh, more so the articulation on the figure, is actually very impressive and we believe it is indicative of the coming toys that Diamond Select will be releasing in regards to their upcoming Gotham line and also the Ghostbusters figures that were on display. Uh, his feet move as well. Um, as you can see right here, you can move uh, the knees and he has some movement within his shoe. Uh, there's not a terrible amount of movement and freedom to move that, uh, but based on the position that you place him in, either using the diorama or just wherever you choose to display him. Uh, you don't really need that, and the same could be said for the head. Uh, it's not a bowl joint head, and if you notice, you can move it to, the, to his right, and you can move it to his left, uh, depending on how much you want to see the roughed up edition uh, uh, with blood from his temples. Um, also pretty cool, again speaking to the detail uh, that Diamond Select Toys and Gentle Giant put into the figure, there's actually blood on his collar. And that's pretty interesting to see that they actually uh, painted that on. Uh, it's pretty clear and it does look like he's been bleeding from the nose a little bit as well. So there's actually a great amount of detail that you can see including bruising work uh, on his uh, cheek and ear region along with the uh, detail that they gave him to on his hair and it is a little tight which is good you don't want it to be too loose and if you can see on the other hand it does have a bit of a peg piece so you have to kind of get that out Dang. and we got it out it came out pretty clean uh, as you can notice a little more of the fingers uh, they are shaped in an yeah. interesting way and now we're gonna put in Unless his in the apple hand left hand into his left arm Sorry. mind you <laughs> not his right <laughs> this uh, we will mention is a little more difficult to get in but with enough pressure don't be afraid to like push it don't go too hard it wiggle it into you loosen it it does go in a good trick if you're very nervous about stuff like this is a hair dryer you put a hair dryer a couple like 30 40 seconds on any joint it'll loosen the plastic enough to pop it out without having to pull it out the figure is pretty interesting and i think especially taking it out of the box which is definitely more fun uh, you could really <laughs> see how cool of a figure it is and i think especially by noticing how the hand holds the apple. Um, it's in there, and if you shake him around a little bit, the apple accessory won't fall out. You just have to make sure that he's firmly secure within the base, but that's that's a pretty good, solid accessory. Also, if you notice, it's kind of cool. Like His head is pointed down. looks like he is actually looking at the apple. Which is maybe why they chose to make his head like that. What I think overall with the figure and it serves as primarily an action figure. Uh, it also could double as a really cool medium level statue collectible. Well, it's, with the base itself, it's a very decent base, which can be used for honestly any figure you have because the peg holes, the, a standard peg hole. Uh, the figure will look good on your shelf. I mean, as a collective, finally show you the figure one last time how beautiful he is with his roughed up look, his umbrella, his apple, and the extra hands. And honestly, it wasn't that difficult to get the hand on. You just don't want to damage it. I would say the only thing is, you want to get the hand on and off, pop it, it's got a good solid joint, the wrist can turn, absolutely no problem. So, it's a beautiful looking figure. I mean, Diamond knocked it out of the park, I could say. That they did. The work that they've been doing on not only their statues, but action figures have been pretty, pretty cool. All right, we have to thank them for the review sample first, though, because that was super absolutely, nice. and that wouldn't have been possible with that Zach from Diamond Select Toys. He is the man. He really is. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Stephen, tell me how you can find. You me. can find me on Twitter at Reggie Mantle the Third, and you can also find me on Instagram at Sherbert Downey Jr. All right, guys, and until next time.